Cronenberg Mitsubishi. My name is Nathan, and today we're doing a walk around video on something pretty unique. What we have here is a 2020 MY20 Pajero in this stunning black. Now this is a GLX model, so we are gonna run through some of the features that does come in this particular series. Now starting off on that front end, you've got that pretty I should say standard Pajero look. Now this car has not changed for, the only, uh, for as long as this vehicle has been around because why would you change something that isn't actually broken? So this is a beautiful setup on a vehicle. It is, an, it is the ultimate four wheel drive vehicle. It is great for towing and there's so many uh, features in this particular spec. So front end, you've got that beautiful chrome finish on the front grille, Mitsubishi badging right in the middle and you've got that very open front bar that is gonna allow for a lot of cooling through to that turbo diesel motor. Now the car does also come fitted with headlight washers, which is what these little indicator, these little marks on the front bar are. These are your daytime running lamps, which are gonna improve the visibility of the vehicle during the day and fog lamps fitted in that front bar. Now these headlights are a very broad headlight. They do come with your projector globes, high beam lights, and also your indicators all fitted into that one big setup. Now the car, probably in the camera, does look a little bit dirty. That is probably the rain that has just poured onto the vehicle, but I can assure you that this car is gonna get a full detail when you do actually come and pick it up. Coming around the side, Taking a look at that first alloy, so you've got that multi-spoke design in that um, um, grey silver finish. Now this car, again, it is a brand new vehicle, so I'm not going to touch too much on the condition. Tread on this vehicle is brand new tread, and lots of uh, and the rim is in excellent condition. Now the GLX model does come fitted with the side step. Being such a, a tall vehicle, it is going to help you get in and out of a car. And you've also got the color match side mirrors and door handles in this beautiful black color. Indicator lamps are also fitted into that side mirror to actually elevate it improve the visibility, but also clear up that quarter panel for you. Now, if you do notice, the Pajero is notorious for its visibility. It has probably one of the best visibilities for four-wheel drives on the market. You've got really big, broad windows. It's fully open all the way through. When you're sitting in the car, you can pretty much see all around the car. Now, that is an advantage, but there are also disadvantages, uh, disadvantages to that. That being that you do actually got a lot of uh, penetration from the sun and UV. So one thing I would highly recommend is you talk to us about our tinting options, being the premium tint that we provide here where we can even it out all the way around. It's gonna add a lot of safety for the passengers in the vehicle, but also it's gonna match that whole blacked out look on the vehicle. So make sure you speak to us about this. Now, if I open this up and we take a look inside the driver's side of the car, there, being the GLX model, it does come with these cloth seats. Now, these cloth seats are a very nice, soft feeling fabric. You do get your um, rear seat adjusters, your, bol uh, your lumbar support in the, in the seat, and also um, your um, toggles to actually adjust the height of that um, bottom seat. And there is a lever in the front to actually move it forward and back, depending on how you want to adjust the vehicle. Um, carpet flooring all the way through the car. Interior condition, as I said, A1, because it is a brand new car. And you've got that really nice door card fit it on there with the leather trimming and that storage compartment at the bottom. Closing this up, coming across to the back of the car just so you can have a see, have a look at how it looks in the second row. Carpet, uh, uh, sorry, cloth seats all the way through, carpet flooring. Do get that step just inside there to keep the carpet nice and clean. And also that bottom floor um, there is gonna be nice and clean for you getting in and out of the car and the side step. Um, Two vents at the back, um, sorry, um, your AC controls at the back there of that console, so you've got temperature and also uh, fan speed. And you've got these really nice cloth seats at the back, which you can actually flip up and over like so, if you actually wanted to utilize the whole boot space. So you've got lots of space in the back there, and these will just bounce in. So I'm just gonna flick that down and drop this seat, just so you can see exactly how easy it is to actually bring that seat back up. Now coming to that second alloy, again, pretty much unmarked rims, you got no damage on those rims, lots of tread, and the fuel filler cap is actually on the driver's side of the car, so very easy access when you're getting in and out of the vehicle, quick and easy to pump up. These back windows will also open up for the third row, it's going to allow for a bit of ventilation to the passengers in the third row. Coming across to that tailgate, you've got that very iconic Pajero tailgate. So, got the spare wheel mounted on the back of the car, Pajero and Mitsubishi badging in that chrome finish. And you've also got the high mounted brake light with your rear wipers and washers. And these little washers are actually hidden behind that roof spoiler. So, very nice subtle design, high mounted brake light. You've got a low mounted brake light with the reflector and you've also got that spare wheel behind this case. Now, one thing I would recommend if you're going to be fitting a tow bar is to speak to us about the um, a spare wheel lift that is going to allow for easy access when you are attaching something to that tow bar. Um, reverse camera is also mounted just under that Pajero badging. It's going to make it very easy for you to park, being the furthest most point in the car. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to gauge how far back you want to park it. Now, opening up the actual boot, 
You can see tremendous amount of access into the back of the vehicle. You've got those third row seats, which will actually fold flat, um, which I will show you how. Like that, and if I lift this, uh, pull this up first. So, sorry, I should have probably elaborated a bit. These third row seats will actually fold underneath the bottom of this uh, floor. So if you do want to utilize this whole boot space, this will actually fold underneath and you can use a whole boot space. You can also detach these seats if you want to utilize the storage underneath and the storage on top. Underneath there, you've got your headrest and also your jack and tools to actually mount um, the seats. And I'll show you what I mean. If I put this on the ground for a minute and you just pull this lever and that is going to fold underneath the floor like so. So very compact design, very economical. And if I bring this back up, that is going to click in there. I can also bring that seat all the way back if you wanted to use those third row seats. Very easy to actually maneuver. Um, and you can put that on there like so. And just in these compartments here, you've got some bolts if you want to actually pull the seats out themselves. You've got cup holders and also vents on the roof there for the third row passengers. So very, very unique design in these Pajeros. Closing this up, you've got your indicator lamp, brake lamp and reverse lamp all in that one tail light. And like I said, guys, I'm not going to touch too much on the paint condition because this is a new vehicle and in this black, you want to make sure you protect it. So one thing I would highly recommend in addition to the tint is you talk to us about the glass coat. That is actually going to give you a lifetime warranty on this black paint work. It's going to make it a lot easier easier for you to maintain and it's going to protect it from all the harsh contaminants that will affect your paint. Rusting, fading, oxidization, bird droppings, bat droppings and on a black paintwork you want to make sure you protect it. So please speak to us about this. So like you can see guys the Pajero is an iconic vehicle and this itself is a great example of a black Pajero which are actually quite hard to find these days. So what we're going to do now is pop the hood and take a look inside. Taking a look inside the engine bay of the Pajero. Now what we have here is that iconic Mitsubishi four-cylinder 3.2 litre turbo diesel motor which has not changed for pretty much the lifetime of the Pajero apart from that V6 motor. Now this, this, car, uh, this car does come with a five-speed automatic gearbox, so nice long gears, great for towing. Um, this car itself has a five-star ANCAP rating with six airbags, so again, lots of safety for the passengers in the vehicle. This motor produces 141 kilowatts with 441 newton meters of torque, so again, that high um, torque rating for that great towing capacity, which is a three-ton towing capacity. This is a diesel car with an 88-liter capacity fuel tank. It does have a combined fuel consumption of 9.1 liters per 100, or an average fuel distance of about 967 kilometers off a full tank, depending on how you drive and whether you're towing. And taking a look inside the Pajero GLX, now pretty nice on the inside, seats are very comfortable, you do get this really nice leather gear, um, steering wheel, very big as well and really quite a uh, well laid out vehicle. So on the driver's side door you do get this really nice leather stitched armrest. Up here on this chrome plate is your uh, electric windows, now driver's side is fully automatic, the rest are just your standard electric windows or power windows. Above that is your window lock control and also your central locking button. On the right side of the dash um, there is your side mirror toggles, now there is a button that folds those mirrors in. Um, and you can unfold it, you can adjust it. Uh, a trick with these Pajeros is if you actually lock it three times, these mirrors will fold in, and if you unlock it three times um, with the actual key remote, that will actually open up the side mirrors. Next set is your fog lamps um, for the actual car. Up here on the right-hand stock is your um, headlight system um, and on the corner here there is that button for your headlight washers and on the left hand side are your wipers and washers both front and rear. As I said the steering wheel is a very comfortable leather stitch steering wheel. On the right hand side of the controls are all your cruise control settings and the left hand side are all your media controls so volume, mode and seek and down here a few paddles for your actual Bluetooth connectivity so call, reject and also your voice control for your head unit. Now coming over to the center console or the entertainment system up here there is a small display that provides you with a bit of driver info. So you, as you can see, it does show you outside temperature, currently eight degrees, uh, six degrees, elevation, barometer, um, date, time, fuel economy, uh, lots of different information for the driver, especially if you're doing those long tri uh, trips, cross-country trips. This is um, very good to have, um, have handy so you know exactly where you are. Coming down to the entertainment, you do get this really nice touchscreen head unit. Now this um, entertainment system does come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so your maps will actually run through that app system there. You do get AM, FM radio, Bluetooth connectivity, and digital radio in the vehicle. Um, iPod music, USB connect, um, and if I flick that over, one thing I will note, it does come with this GPS. Now it's not an actual inbuilt GPS setting. Pressing that is actually gonna pull up your longitude latitude. So if you're in the middle of the desert and you don't know where you are, 
that is going to provide you with your longitude latitude and you can work out your bearing from there below that you've got your climate control and your temp um, fan speed and all your mode settings there is a small compartment for storage and a card slot um, as well as a your um, cigarette lighter or your 12 volt socket it's not an actual cigarette lighter we don't encourage people to smoke in the cars and you've also got a rear diff lock in this vehicle now being the my20 model this car does also come with your auto, um, automatic high beam so if you turn on your high beam and flick that up that is going to engage your auto high beam system left hand side is your stability control now coming over to the gear shifter you've got a very nice leather stitch gear shifter and if i pull that into reverse you can see that rever uh, reverse camera which is mounted just on the back of that spare wheel mount rear bar at the bottom there very clear to see if you do get a tow bar fitted you'll see that right in the middle and if i bring the shifter down into drive and actually flick it to the left that is going to engage your sports shift system which is a very responsive system that'll um, give you a bit more control over the car if you're going up a hill if you're towing something need a little bit more torque you can just shift down a gear and you can provide the vehicle with more torque pulling that back up to park you've got a very nice leather stitched um, handbrake and also the super select system uh, two, which is your four-wheel drive select system. So you can see you've got two high, four high, four high center diff lock and four low center diff lock. So this vehicle does have a center diff lock as well as a rear diff lock. Um, so you can adjust this accordingly. You can flick into any of your high settings going actually up to 100 kilometers per hour. It is one of the leading four-wheel drive systems on the market at the moment. You've got two cup holders and this very nice armrest. Now this compartment will slide forward if you do want to utilize that as an armrest, but you've got two levels. So you've got an upper shelf compartment and a deeper lower compartment underneath which has actually got plenty of space in there and a 12 volt socket for any extra charging now get the camera person to pan around I'm not, he's not going to touch too much on the condition because like i said it is a brand new vehicle you've got the clot seats in the back uh, plenty of storage in here there are also vents on the bottom here that is for keeping the rear passengers nice and cool you've got these fan adjusters so that is going to be for the temperature and that is going to be for the fan speed over there and you've also got that for your rear vent ventilation. You've got vents on the roofs for the second row and also vents on the roof for the third row as I demonstrated before. So what we're gonna do now is actually jump outside and wrap up this video. So much for watching the walk around video on this 2020 Pajero GLX in this stunning black color. Now, I hope the video gave you a good representation as to pretty much what this car has to offer and the features on the inside of the GLX model. Now, if you did have any additional questions, wanted to test drive a Pajero or actually wanted to purchase this vehicle without coming in, you can do that. The number to dial is 99070555. Now, just before I go, this car does qualify for our Platinum One program. What that will offer you is five years additional protection on top of the new car warranty, and that coverage is gonna cover you for like for like new car warranty, front to back of the car. And that is gonna extend the warranty to 200,000 kilometers, and it does also come with the added benefit of 10 years Platinum Roadside Assistance. Now, with that Roadside Assistance, if you plan on doing some towing and traveling, there is great coverage in that. With 250 kilometers of towing, and also they will actually tow an additional 3.5 ton on top of your vehicle. So if you've got a camper van or caravan, you're gonna be assured that that is also are going to be secure with you now in addition to that one thing i would highly recommend you speak to us about is the glass coat and tint as i mentioned before i would highly recommend you get tinting on a vehicle like this for the amount of glass on the car but also just as the added protection and also the look wise it's going to make the car look so cool with the black uh, paint and the black tinting and also with that package you also get what you call a glass coat now that is going to give you a lifetime warranty on this beautiful black paintwork it's going to make it a lot easier for you to clean and maintain and it's going to actually prevent this paint from oxidizing and fading which you don't want especially on a black vehicle and considering how unique and hard these are to come across you want to make sure you protect your investment now these two things are at an additional cost but if you are using our in-house finance i would love to introduce you to our business managers julie and mario who show just some minimal these will really affect your repayments now last Lastly, but most importantly, jump on a Google and search up Beric Mitsubishi. See what people have to say about us. With our Google reviews sitting at over 1,100 and sitting at 4.8 stars, it gives you the assurance as a buyer that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 99070555. My name is Mathan, and thank you so much for watching.